X from director Ty West is set in 1979 and is about a group of pornographers who go to a farmhouse to film their movie, only they have to fight for their lives against a crazy elderly couple. That is 100% my cup of tea. Man, you'd really have to drop the ball on this one if I didn't come out liking it. And I really, really love this movie. X is like you're watching the group from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, only if they did porno movies and went to the serial killer's house to film the farmer's daughters. And unfortunately for them, they are deep in Estes Perkle land. Hell, never mind just referencing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even the gator from Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive makes an appearance here. The movie does a great job with its characters, from our leads to the villains, and the cinematography is drop-dead gorgeous, as Ty West is great at making period horror films like this look and feel authentic, like it actually could have been something released in 79. Even the elderly couple really do feel like characters here, and they have moments where you do pity them, from the woman who is wildly sexually repressed and driven crazy with envy and regret and then anger towards the pornographers, to the dude who can't satisfy his wife because his heart might explode. I loved hanging out with our lead characters. The movie has a real build-up to it, and we spend a lot of time getting to see them shoot their movie guerrilla style, and I even liked their movie. It looked like a typical farmhouse porno at the time, but it seemed like it would have been funny. Again, I just love that they call it the Farmer's Daughters, where I instantly had this reaction and thinking, ooh, is this a fictitious behind-the-scenes story of the making of that movie I did a snob episode on? I went to go see this movie with my wife, and she had more of a problem with the makeup on the elderly people than I did. But then when she found out who plays the old woman, that actually bumped it up a couple grades for her. Maybe some people will have a problem with it, but I didn't really. I mean, you can tell it's makeup, but it felt kind of in keeping with the kind of movie that it is. And Ty West is really great at adding his own spin to different subgenres of horror, and he does that here. I liked how our villains are almost this peek into what our leads' lives could have been if they didn't escape being in the world of something like Footmen. It made perfect sense that I watched this the day I edited the new snob episode on a 70s Ron Ormond Christploitation movie. You'll also have parts that throw you off your guard, because it'll look like a shot from Chainsaw, but then something different will happen. Sure, there's times where you're telling a character, oh, don't do that, don't stand there, why are you standing there? And really, given where they are and the kind of movie they're making, they should probably have a lookout. And the movie does open with a scene from near the end before flashing back. The movie does so many things well, I hate that it made that misstep. I was hoping there'd be a reason for it, but there's really not. You did not need that opening scene, which honestly gives away a little too much. And it does feel like someone said, Okay, this movie is a big slow burn. We gotta put something bloody at the beginning. It's wildly unnecessary. I'll give the movie an A-. minus. It's hands down a better Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie than that one we got recently. This feels more in-universe with the original Chainsaw Massacre than most of the others in that movie's franchise. If you love yourself an old-school southern fried horror movie, you're really gonna dig this. I sure as hell did. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to check out our review for Netflix's Windfall, and we'll have one coming up for The Outfit, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.